This is such a great role for you. I think Luke is just the perfect character for you. Was there something about him or maybe the script that drew you to be a part of this film? Thank you for saying that. I really appreciate that, James. Very kind of you. Um, I, For me personally, when the script came to me, one of the first conversations I had was um, about the the mentoring program uh, for the uh, women directors, Maker Mark. And Ashley had spoken to me months in advance asking if this was something that I would be willing to do with a first time director. And I said, certainly I can't think of a more lovely thing to participate and lend my lack of talent to. Um, and uh, she said, careful, you might get a call. And she was right, I did get a call. And yeah, when they when they had mentioned that that's what this was for, I was very interested and, and, um, and they appealed to my motorcycle liking by making the first scene on a motorcycle <laughs> part of me was even like do i do the motorcycle again or should i just do like a car like we're going to play the motorcycle out too much but aisha our executive um she listens to the audience and, and is very much immersed in knowing sort of what's going on and what people like and that's probably her doing is to put me on that motorcycle in the opening scenes <laughs> it was to, you know it's sort of to bribe you a little bit <laughs> yeah maybe could have been a little worse there I was. Also, my, my mother um, lives in the city that we shot in, in Ottawa, Canada. And so when that script came in, she was just like, you're doing this movie. <laughs> I was like, hold on. You can sleep in your well bed for the night. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> the child in bed. Yeah, no, no thanks. We'll pass on that one. But yeah. <laughs> Do you recall how Luke then was originally described to you? He's, you know, very intense. And, and uh you find? Very, yeah he's intense and certainly very matter of fact but then i think once he gets with jess you see the lighter side to him certainly he opens up and there's more of a humanity to him i feel yeah yeah i think i think what i wanted to do when i was because so much of the movie takes place during the competition and sort of where we end up and so there's a very short amount of time to give you a sense of his conundrum, if any, you know, with his father and being in an occupation that's not really built for him um, as sort of an undertone to his character. And then the fact that he it seems more suited for, for being a mechanic and not a corporate sort of guy. And so we did that in a short amount of time at the beginning. So yeah, it's probably a little bit grumpy at the beginning, Jamie, you're right. I probably leaned into that a little bit. <laughs> so we had a bit of contrast. <laughs> the chemistry between Jess and Luke is just great. It's palpable when you see the two of you first denying you don't want to work together. But then, as I said, you know, you seem to connect as they sort of put you together in these challenges a little, little bit more. Talk about working with Cat Barrel. Uh, I was a pleasure, you know. I appreciate you saying that about our chemistry. It's very kind of you to say. I think um, I'm sort of of the mind that if somebody's really good at what they do, then you, you, you can make chemistry happen that's just sort of work you know and she's a very talented human being she's a director in her own right which was an incredible thing and she was uh juggling a lot she she had her family there with us she has a, a little one that was around which was really beautiful and and she was actually um with child or second child uh she had found out during the just prior to shooting the movie and so that was really incredible thing to be a part of a of a film that was part of a maker mark program mentoring first time female directors <clears throat> being created by a woman being led by an executive who's a woman starring a woman who is with child like this it couldn't be more of a celebration i feel like um of, of women the circumstance that i was in and the fact that i had my nieces and my mother around was just icing on top so <clears throat> i thought it was pretty special certainly and cat worked really, really hard under pretty extreme circumstances. So truly a testament to her ability as an artist and uh, a human being, certainly. I like all the mechanic work and the competition that you all had to put into this as well. Did they give you much of a time to sort of work out those scenes about where you'll be learning to dissect this or create this for the car work? Nope, nope, we just faked it all, Jamie. And uh, the fact that you're asking that question means that maybe we were a bit believable, which makes me feel good about the fact that we phoned it all in desperately. 
you'll you'll wait until people start watching the movie and uh who yeah. are gear fanatics and have something to say nope that's not how you crank that wrench yeah. buddy <laughs> yeah why is he holding a hammer trying to turn a screw this guy doesn't know what he's doing <laughs> there's so we, many we try our best yeah, <laughs> there's so many standout moments to making this movie do you have any things that were particularly favorites for yours or maybe even once you're most proud of the work you put into I mean, <clears throat> I remember the day the day we were shooting the roller skating scene. Neither Kat nor I had any roller skating experience. She had tried it when she had booked the job because um, she's a responsible adult. I did not. Um, I showed up and we tried them on like I think a couple of days before. And we had like a bit of a rehearsal. And again, she was with child and, and she was also battling a, a cold as everybody was getting sick at that time. And um, just watching her <laughs> overcome overcome the roller skates uh, was pretty incredible, you know, G given, given the circumstance that she was in and given the fact that we're doing choreography of sorts you know we were just holding on and and trying to figure it out as we went and, and i thought that that was really incredible for her to be able to do that that day given everything and this is also nice because my mom was there watching this and she loves like 70s things she has like a whole 70s theme uh in various parts of her life she she was restoring old vintage camper trailers for a while and she like goes it's like the 70s came in and just Grew up everywhere just like not one record player but like 10 record players and yeah it's all disco albums it's just so much 70s stuff so she was really excited to show up that day and see the lights and the disco ball and the music and she was she was having a good time well i think shifting gears is going to be a, a fast fan favorite hallmark film because there's heart there's humor and certainly it's got a little bit of everything i feel for all of the Hallmark fans, what do you think it is about Shifting Gears that you think it's going to make it such a standout movie? I appreciate you saying that again. It's very nice. Um, thank you, Jamie. Uh, I should have you do these interviews instead of me. Probably do a much better job. Definitely um, not as good looking. Uh, and stop. I can't pull off the toothpick. I can't. I you're, just... lying. you're lying. <laughs> I can give you a toothpick. I'll send you. I'll mail you. I'll mail you a toothpick. Give it a go. It's easier than you think. You just put it in your mouth, and it tastes like mint. It's beautiful. Um, I think I think it's a fun movie. You know, I think it kind of like it feels like what the producers and the director and the executive who's in charge wanted to make was something that felt fun and sort of classic hallmark in the best sense of the word um while putting a new spin on it a little bit i think they had explained to me that having a, a, a woman being a mechanic what is a new idea in the past and something that they maybe wouldn't have ventured into and now taking a premise and a dynamic and a sort of relationship that was a classic sort of hallmark premise mixed in with this sort of newer circumstance I thought was a nice balance to, to give people hopefully um, a nice good filling shot of why they tune into the hallmark you know what I mean it seemed like it's it, it fires on all cylinders wow what an analogy I just made <laughs> it's firing on all cylinders there you go now that's gonna see me line. And every interview, I'm going to say this. You're going to, it's like, you know, when you see like interviews and you go from like the yes, same the actor and he keeps telling the same story over and over and over. That's my mind. I'm going to say, this movie's firing on all cylinders. Maria's going to have to watch you a lot more closely if you keep her. <laughs> <laughs> I, 